Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back to another video today, and we're going to be recapping all 11 games from the NBA today. As there was a lot of interesting going, interesting things going on, a couple of blowouts, but there were some interesting games, some huge finishes, and an overtime game. And we start with that overtime game as the Magic's come back to beat the LA Clippers 111 to 116 in overtime. What a comeback! They were down by a lot in this one. I mean, uh, they went into halftime down by only nine um and i think somewhere in there they had a double digit deficit in around somewhere in that game i can't remember when but i remember looking at the score once i think it might have been before halftime or something i oh well the clippers had a 32 to 14 lead at the end of the first quarter i think it was the double digit lead is when where was in the second quarter and the magic started to fight a little bit back in the third quarter um so and then the fourth quarter they t they were able to get it all the way back to a tie game uh, i think they'd even take the lead a little bit in the fourth quarter and then we went to overtime where the magic outplayed the clippers um banchero had 23 wagner had 15 or F franz wagner had 15 Maurice Wagner, his brother, had 20 and 13. Bobo had 29. Cole Anthony had 13. For the Clippers, 16 for Batum, 16 and 13 for uh, Zubak. 11 for Paul George, 15 for Reggie Jackson, 14 for Kawhi, 19 off the bench for Terrence Mann. Um, now going to the next game, you got the, the, always, the, the games I always love to watch now is the Knicks and the Hawks, especially when it's in Madison Square Garden. Uh, they did good against Trey Young tonight. The, the Hawks, uh, the, the Knicks beat the Hawks 113-89. Uh, Randall had 34-17. and 17. Grimes had 23. Barron had 15. Brunson only had 8. Uh, for the Hawks, uh, DeJounte Murray would leave early in the first quarter with an injury. He had 2. Uh, it was a sprained ankle. Trey Young had 19, Capella had 13 and 11, uh, 10 for Okongwu off the bench. Um, you know, next one is the Nets, Hornets. Nets get the huge win, 122 to 116. The Nets would have a huge lead at halftime. They would be up by around the 25 to 30 uh, range in the in the uh, in the in the first half, and we saw the Hornets make a comeback. They outscored the Nets by nine in the third quarter. Then they, out, they outscored the Hornets by the Nets by then the Hornets outscored the Nets by three in the next one. Uh, Durant had 29 and nine and eight. Dur uh, Irving had 33, and Cur Seth Curry had 20 off the bench for the Hornets. Kelly Oubre Jr. had 28 and eight. Uh, Rogier had 29, Pumley had 13 and 11, and Washington had 12. Uh, Lakers, Raptors, Lakers were without uh, AD, who had uh, without, was out with an illness, and LeBron with an ankle injury. They were both out with they were without LeBron and AD tonight. Um, and the Lakers would also lose JTA in this game with a sprained ankle. He started uh, for the re to replace LeBron. Uh, just not a good night for the Lakers. Back-to-back uh, -back losses and back-to-back -back days. The Lakers lose 113-126 to the Raptors. Uh, Siakam with 25-10-7. OG with 23. Uh, Van Vliet with 25. Barnes with 13-17. and 17. For the Lakers, Thomas Bryant had 16. Schroeder had 18. Westbrook had 16-9. and 9. Um, next game, we got a blowout here. Thunder lose to the Grizzlies, 123 to 102. Ja gets a triple double, 26, 13, and 11. Dylan Brooks has 24, I think. Uh, never mind. Uh, Brandon Clark had 17. For the Thunder, Shea had 26 and 7. Josh Giddy had 10 and 10. That was it. Um, Bulls, Wizards, Bulls get back on the win column. It was good to see them finally win a game tonight. Uh, DeRozan had 27. Vucevic had 25 and 11. Uh, Levine had 25. Um, Pat Williams had 11. For the Wizards, Kuzma had 21, 28, and 9 for Porzingis. Good win for the Bulls at home. Pelicans, Pistons. Pelicans get a good win against the Pistons. Uh, Pistons lose on the second night of a back to back. Zion with 29 and 10. Trey Murphy with 20. And for the Pistons, 25 off the bench for Sadiq Bay. Uh, Bucks get the good win. Get a good win against the Kings. 126 to 113. Drew Holiday scores 31. Giannis has 35, 6, and 7. Middleton has 14. For the Kings, Sabonis has 23, 12, and 7. Barnes has 20. Um, 16 for Monk. Good wing and for the Bucks. Um, the Pacers versus the Timberwolves. Good win for the Timberwolves here, 121 to 115. Anthony Edwards has 26, 8, and 8. Gobert has 16 and 21. 28 for Russell. 
great win for the uh, Timberwolves. For the Pacers, uh, Halliburton had 26 and 15 assists. He's been leading the league in assists. Heald had 26. Ben Madurin had 14. So good win for the Wolves. And then here was the game of the day. The Warriors-Jazz, this was a back-and-forth game. The Jazz controlled the fourth quarter. Um controlled the start of the third quarter they they were hitting threes to start the third like crazy and um and the warriors would have a great fourth quarter um now we both teams would go back at it go, go at it in the final uh stretch where the warriors that would be 121 to 119 the jordan clarkson would then take a shot to try to tight he'd get blocked we had a we had a little bit of a mess after because kaminga blocked the shot uh kaminga and jordan clarkson got into it almost fought well kaminga didn't want to fight but jordan clarkson wanted to fight uh it was very interesting um now they didn't call a, a technical attack or a flagrant on that call but there was a foul after uh wait no i think they did call tech and then so warriors made two free throws is 123 to 122 then the jazz go i don't because i wasn't looking i was watching the game but I, w- I looked down for one second the jazz hit a three i forgot who it was though uh they hit a three um and so then now you're in a situation with no timeouts five seconds warriors inbound the ball and the jazz are planning to foul instead they get the steal off of jordan clark i mean off of jordan pool and transition I, for- I forget who made the layup it was some random dude i never heard wait it was um it was simone fun to see Fanticho, I don't. He's he's the guy that made the game winning layup. He had a great game. He had eighteen. So there was a transition. They win made the game winning layup. There's one point three seconds left, and from then the Warriors have no timeouts, and they just threw the ball up. Uh, and it it was stolen by the Jazz. So what a win. What a lucky win for the Jazz, 124-123. to 123. Clarkson had 22. Walker Kessler had 10-12. and 12. No Laurie Markkinen in this game. 17 for Sexton, 15 for Olenek. For the Warriors, they did not have uh, – they were very shorthanded tonight. And I know I will I, I will give it to the Jazz. They didn't have Laurie Markkinen or Michael Con- Mike Conley tonight, but they still had a better team out there than the Warriors. I'm sorry. Uh, the Warriors did not have Curry. They did not have Draymond, and they did not have – uh, they did not have Wiggins. Uh, they only had out there tonight Poole. Their three best players were Poole, Thompson, and Kaminga. And in my opinion, I think I think the way the Jazz have been playing right now, that's a harder. I think that's a hard matchup for that team without without those three guys. Poole ended up getting thirty six points tonight. Clay had twenty two. Kaminga had twenty four. These guys fought. I, it sucks to see them lose like that. But uh, what a what a what a good finish by the Jazz. Um, and then Celtic Suns. This was supposed to be the amazing game between the two one seeds, the one number one seed in the West, the number one seed in the East, and the Celtics just kicked ass tonight. They beat the Suns 125-98. to uh, Honestly, if they would have played, uh, they were not playing their best strength uh, as a team in the fourth quarter. I mean, when you're up like that, when you're up by 40, I mean, you really don't care. There, when you're up by 47, if you're when you're almost up by 50, um, there's no point in playing hard in the fourth quarter. They got scored in the fourth quarter by 12. That shows the difference of this game. Um, now with this loss, the, the Pelicans are number one in the in the West, uh, which they deserve because they're playing great basketball. But what a tough night for the for the Suns. Chris Paul returns. He scores four, four, and four. Uh, Bridges has an off night. He only has four. Booker only has 17. Here's a surprising night. Night Josh Okogie has 28 um, and 7, too. Campaign has 12, and for the Celtics, uh, Tatum has 25. Brown has 25. That's on low minutes, too. Brogdon has 16. Grant Williams has 14. And what's his name? Luke? Yeah, Luke Cornett has 12. So uh, that was a, I thought that was going to be a really good, go, close game, and it, it turned out to be a blowout. So that was a good that, that was a fun game. Game, game it was a fun day of games really enjoyed watching the end of that warriors jazz game in the overtime game between the clippers and magic um and then you know the pelicans win because the pelicans win they with the pelicans win they they uh 
they are now number one in the West. I also enjoyed watching the Nets able to close out the Hornets tonight, even though they, they let the Hornets back in the game, but that's okay. And, you know, I enjoyed a couple other things in tonight's games. Uh, I enjoyed uh, seeing the, the Hawks versus Knicks matchup. That's one of my favorite matchups in the league. Now, I don't know why, but that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and peace out.